Oh, well, the short answer is it's spies with mind powers, you know, psychic abilities. And the long answer is it's, it's a reporter who's sort of trying to figure out this, where all these crazy agents went, you know, and, and what happened to them, because they're all gone. So she sort of travels along and tries to find out, you know, what happened and where they're at. You know, it's funny as I read, I read this crazy book that was that was all of the, uh, it was like all of these science experiments and things that the government did, like in real life, like back in the like 60s and 70s. And it was like the nuttiest, it was like the nuttiest stuff, but it was for real. And uh, and so I think a lot of my inspiration for the book came from that. Like, you know, well, what if that stuff really worked? And, and at the time, they were like, well, maybe it'll work because they had funding for it, and they had these guys trying to do like. Uh, remote imaging, you know, where you sit in a room and you just try to, like, send your mind somewhere else to, to get an image of, you know, whatever, an enemy's base or, you know, something that's in the other room. So the idea of them actually in real life trying to, to tap into that and see if that would work was fascinating to me, you know, because I don't, like, when it comes down to it, I don't think any of that is real. I don't think it's possible. You know? But I, I like to think that it could be, you know, so maybe I'm wrong and, you know, there'll be, like, a, a leaked document sometime, you know, sometime in the future where they're like, hey, we really have these, like, crazy mind agents, you know, but, uh, the, the grown-up in me thinks it'll never happen. Yeah, you know, I, th I think when all the the news about you know how all of our cell phones are being reported and all the, all the just like massive wiretapping and all that leaked to the press, I was like, my head was kind of spinning a little bit. I'm like, oh, hey, maybe you know, maybe we're not so so paranoid. You know, it's not paranoid if it's true. And, and uh, so I think you know, I always that's what I love. I like I when I was a kid, I was obsessed with the Kennedy assassination and just the idea of conspiracies. And, and I think. Like, you know, as I grew up, I was always looking for that, or like, like, is this the truth, and what is the truth, and, and I think that sort of as a creator, I'm still doing that, and, and it's like, what is the truth about, you know, a lot of different things, uh, but the sad part is I think when I get older, the more, I, the older I get, the less I believe in the actual conspiracies, you know, and the less I'm like, the more I'm like, well, maybe, probably the simplest solution is the answer, you know, it's almost like a Sherlock Holmes thing, you know, the, if everything else is, you know, the, the simplest answer is usually the correct one. But who knows, you know, I still hold out hope for some conspiracies. Yeah, I mean, I started, when I started the series, I had it all laid out, so I knew generally what the story was going to be and who the characters are and where they're going to be, you know, but I think as I started working on it, I, I started layering things in, you know, so there's like this, sort of like the subliminal side text and, and different things in the background that some of that is planned, some of it just occurs to me, you know, and then there's things like, like the back covers that sort of piece together and then there's hidden images and, and that kind of thing are, are things I've had, I have ideas for all the time and then and just finding the right place and the right time for them, you know, and uh, that's what doing that ongoing series is just fantastic because it, it gives me an outlet to every crazy idea I have, there's a place to put it, you know, in the book, and so that's kind of why those issues are so dense is because I've got so much and I just want to jam everything I can into every issue. Some of the places, some of the places and locations of the book are places I want to go. Some of the places I have been, and, and there's future stories where, you know, like we just went to Greece and saw Athens and some of the islands and some of that, that stuff, and that was definitely something that's going to be coming up. And you know, like some things are going to be influencing the story, and I wanted to make sure I saw it first before I put anything in the book. Um, one, just because I wanted to make it more authentic, and the other is to see if there's any other ideas I could get. You know, and I think. Travel is a big part of, of my inspiration, and, and honestly, I think the locations in the in the book are like another character that are just kind of fun to play with. Yeah, it's 36 issues, so when I pitched to the Dark Horse, I'm like, I have this story, here it is, here's the characters, and here's the outline, you know, so I have, sitting on my laptop is, is the whole thing, you know, and I'm just one month at a time, you know, chipping away at it, and uh, issue 36 will be the last one. I won't say that's the last ever, you know, like I have ideas for, like, prequel stories or, you know, like, shorter stories that don't fit the larger narrative, um, so I'll probably do those eventually, but, but as far as, like, this main story, it's, it's 36. Um, well, I have a new monthly book that's going to be coming out in, in March from Dark Horse. 
Hell Castaways, which is just like straight up science fiction with you know this group of characters that come to our present day from the future. And it's just kind of a fun adventure book, you know. Uh, and then Scott Collins is going to be doing the art, uh, which I'm super excited about. He's a guy that you know he's been doing stuff for DC forever, and he's the artist on Flash for a long time. And, and so I, I totally convinced him to come over and do like a creator own book, you know, where we, you know we can just have some fun and, and then and just have total control over it all. So that's coming out in March. Um, what else am I doing? I'm doing a bunch of write, uh, books for Valiant. You know, if you read the Valiant books, I'm doing some things with them. And, um, that's about it for now. That's all I can really say that's announced.